Oh boy. It's time. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we're watching Star Wars Episode 9 The Rise of Skywalker. Before we hop on into the movie, let's have a word from today's sponsor, Helix Sleep. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that conveniently ships right to your door. With their new and improved sleep quiz that tests for factors like firmness preferences, back pain, and sleeping positions, they're able to find the mattress that's perfect for you. Tyler is a back sleeper while I'm a stomach sleeper, so when we took the quiz together, Helix matched us with our Dusk Lux mattress. We've now had it for about a year now, and it has been incredible. Our mattress has just the right balance of firmness and support while still feeling really cozy and luxurious. In fact, it's so comfortable that I've noticed my quality of sleep has actually improved. In the past, I would typically need around eight to nine hours of sleep every night to actually feel well rested and rejuvenated and it's really hard to get that much sleep but now i find myself waking up naturally around seven hours of sleep and i feel super rejuvenated super well rested i always have the lasting energy to power through my day and i never need a nap what's even better is that with your purchase helix will give you a 100 night sleep trial plus a 10-year warranty so if it makes you nervous to buy something you haven't tried like it does for me all the time you can get over three months to make sure that you love the mattress, and if you don't, they will pick it up for you and give you a full refund. So either way, it's a win-win for you. Just click the link in the description or go to helixsleep.com slash nataliegold for up to $200 off of your new Helix Sleep mattress, plus two free pillows. Thank you so much again to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video, and thank you guys as always for listening to the sponsor. Now let's get back on into the movie. Welcome back to my channel everyone and thank you so much for being here especially you yes you hello you thank you to all of my little golden grams who stick around and subscribe and watch these movies and shows with me on a regular basis our community has grown quite a lot in the couple years that i've been doing this on youtube and i'm so grateful to have such a great community of people to watch these movies with so thank you for your comments and welcome if you're new because there's a lot of new folks over here on my channel i hit 300k relatively recently if you like these kinds of videos and you enjoy what you see here and you continually watch these videos but you're not subscribed what are you doing it's free click the little button below i would love to have you over here <laughs> oh it's finally time for the final film in this trilogy, this new trilogy has been an interesting journey, to say the least. I feel like the last two movies were vastly different from one another, and I don't really feel like they tied together to tell a super cohesive story, uh, aside from, you know, the storyline of Rey just being this badass girl who's got to fulfill some Jedi destiny. But we haven't really learned too, too much about her in the last two movies. I honestly feel like I have a lot of predictions for how this movie's going to turn out, but I don't, I don't know how ridiculous they are. So maybe we'll just get into my predictions and we'll see how right or how wrong I am. And yeah, maybe uh, <laughs> if they sound ridiculous, I'm truly just going based off of what I would guess or hypothesize is gonna happen. Based off of the last two movies, I mean, a lot of what we got was Rey kind of wanting to know who her parents were, us not really knowing who her parents are. At one point, Kylo Ren insinuates that her parents are dead. I don't know how he would even really know that. So there's still some kind of mystery around who Rey's parents are. This movie is called The Rise of Skywalker, which could theoretically be pointing towards Ben since he is related to Leia, a Skywalker. Although I don't know if she goes by that. I actually forget, or Organa is her last name. So she doesn't really go by Skywalker. So I would assume that that title is actually indicating that Rey is a Skywalker, if I had to guess. I don't know how that would be possible. I also feel like there's been some kind of odd connection slash tension between Kylo Ren and Rey, which could be a sibling connection, could be a cousin connection, could just be sexual tension. Honestly, we've had both of those things happen at the same time in past Star Wars movies. So really anything is possible there. <laughs> I just think they're connected in some way. <laughs> 
And we've also had a lot of insinuations that Ray is just reckless and gets pulled towards the dark side really easily. And that Ben clearly ha is conflicted and has some good in him. I, I feel like I wouldn't be surprised if like Ray messes. I, I don't know. It's tough because I feel like logically what would make sense for these characters is that Ray wouldn't even be good at the force yet, but she already is. So we'll forget about that. If she is good at the force, but she's so reckless and dives into the dark side, I, I would just kind of expect her to go in that direction because she's got no self-control, no training. Whereas I feel like Ben is actually good and constantly trying to force himself to be evil. So I feel like Ben is probably going to be redeemed in this movie, whether it means he's going to die as a hero or just make a good decision in the end. I feel like Ben will probably end up being good at the end of this and um, making the right decision and maybe taking apart or dismantling the empire or sorry, the first order, <laughs> not the empire, the empire. I'm definitely left with a lot of questions after the last movie. That's all I'll say. I also will admit, you know, sometimes I do talk to Tyler after I've seen these movies and after I've already filmed my intros and outros and told you guys my thoughts. He mentioned to me that Initially, when The Force Awakens came out, a lot of people were like, this is just a carbon copy remake and complaining about how it wasn't original. And it seems like Disney swung uh, in the complete opposite direction and tried to do something that was really different and really out there and not a carbon copy. But it almost went too far in the other direction, at least in my opinion, doing things that just didn't really make sense. And so I'll be interested to see how the audience reception of the episode eight, The Last Jedi, affected how this movie got made. Like, will episode nine still, will it fall somewhere in the middle of originality or will it go back in the other direction of feeling like a carbon copy of previous Star Wars films we've seen play out? So I'm definitely curious to see plot wise what it's going to entail. I also know we got a glimpse of a kid at the end of the last film who clearly could use the force naturally and had a little Rebel Alliance logo on a ring. So I'm curious to see if more people out in the galaxy will step up and help the Rebel Alliance or if it's going to be completely dependent on Kylo Ren just becoming good and that's how the First Order will be destroyed. I feel like that makes more sense because <laughs> where the Rebel Alliance is at right now, I mean, they were oddly optimistic at the end of the last movie, in my opinion. I feel like they should have just been a mess given how many people they lost in that movie. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be curious to see what happens. And so those are some of my predictions and some of my questions. But with all that being said, guys, I think I've rambled on for long enough about my hypotheses and predictions. And you probably just want to see me watch this movie. I'm excited. I know that there's a new show out now, Obi-Wan Kenobi. I don't know if it's just Kenobi or Obi-Wan or what the title exactly is, but I do hope to get to that one day. I'm watching a lot of stuff right now and specifically a lot of series here on my channel, but I do want to get to Obi-Wan eventually. It looks really interesting and I think it will be a good time, but for now, we're just going to wrap out this trilogy. Without any further ado, I think we should grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. Oh, do you think I can get it? Do you guys think I can get it? A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. The dead speak! The galaxy has heard a mysterious broadcast, a threat of revenge in the sinister voice of the late Emperor Palpatine. Oh, what? General Leia Organa dispatches secret agents to gather intelligence while Rey, the last hope of the Jedi, trains for battle against the diabolical First Order. Meanwhile, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren rages uh, in search of the Phantom Emperor, determined to destroy any threat to his power. Well, I gotta say, I was not expecting that. Uh, that was not in my predictions. Here he is, raging, raging, just straight raging in a forest. Like, where is Palpatine? Give me Palpatine! Wait, it's whispering and it's lighting up. That's a bad sign from all the fantasy movies I've seen, like Lord of the Rings and shit. Like, you don't, you don't want to go near stuff that's whispering like that to you in demonic voices. Is he using it to power his ship or is he downloading something? What is going on? Whoa. So that's their new Death Star thing, I think. 
Maybe not. Oh my God. Or is it just a building on the planet? It's really cool though. I do, wow, there's, okay, okay, okay. Epileptic warning, Jesus. At last. What? Whoa, this is kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. I have been every voice you have ever heard inside your head. Darth Vader? Oh, Snoke, look. What could you give me? Everything. Oh my god, he's like a zombie. He's a he's a Jedi zombie. <laughs> or sorry, a Sith zombie. Is he just lifting the building, the ship, everything, the whole complex is being lifted out of the planet with hit by him? Um okay, listen, all my predictions out the window now. I I don't know. I don't know. The final order will soon be ready. The final order. He's calling it the final order now. Yeah, honestly. Kill the girl. Oh, it's just the girl. Listen, if this dude is this powerful and he can come back and be a zombie, couldn't you just kill the girl? Couldn't you just force kill her? Like, I, you force killed Natalie Portman. Like, I just feel like if he's this powerful, he could, he could mind control Adam Driver's character. He could mind control Kylo Ren. He could mind control whoever he wanted. I feel like he'd be so powerful. That is really pretty too, not gonna lie. The artwork is really cool. Like the landscapes are really pretty. You got something for us? From a new ally, a spy in the first order. A spy. Yeah, whom? Whom? I, I don't trust that <laughs> who? This could be big R2. Finally, R2. I feel like we didn't see R2 hardly at all in the last movie. Yeah. Oh, ma'am, you're gonna deforest the place. Oh my God, ma'am. Oh my God. Oh, oh, yeah, look what you did. Didn't finish the training course. Got distracted. Who's she talking to? Is she recording her? Oh, no, she, oh, Leia's right there. I see, okay. It looks like I'm making excuses. Don't tell me what things look like. Tell me what they are. I think I'm just tired. She doesn't want to tell her that her son and her have a connection. Like, I keep seeing your son, man. He's f***ing with my head. All things on fire. All of it's on fire. All of it's on fire. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. It's a pretty old ship. What'd you do to the droid? What'd you do to the Falcon? Ha! Ah! You know what you are. What? You're difficult. Really difficult. You, You're a difficult man. You are. You're a difficult man. <laughs> That's actually really funny. <laughs> They're both mad at each other for messing each other's tech up. Somehow Palpatine returned. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Which makes no sense. And honestly, if I was in the Rebel Alliance at this point, I'd be like, I give up. Like, this is too much. If he just came back, like, I'm over this. This is impossible. We can never destroy him. Oh, it's in the book she was reading. Been oh. Out there all this time, pulling the strings. Well, I guess their spy or mole in the first order is legit. We better meet that person because they've been referenced to and gave them crucial information. So we better meet them. But he said to get there, you need one of these, a Sith wayfinder. Ah, that's the thing he was using. Kylo Ren. I'm gonna pick up Luke's search for Exegol. I'm a little bit, honey. You ain't ready. Like you gonna get corrupted or some. I feel like, I don't know, I'm nervous. I need to go alone. No, you yeah. don't. Alone with friends. It's too dangerous. Alone with friends. <laughs> I wholeheartedly agree. Oh, C-3PO's too? He's coming too? I'm just not really like attached to these guys as a friend group because like they, Ray was like gone the whole last movie. Oscar Isaac was on a ship by himself for most of the movie. Rose and Finn were off at a casino. <laughs> So I'm just not really attached to them as a friend group, really. Tell me when you get back. Oh, no. Well, she's gonna die then. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, it is, whoa. I don't remember it being broken apart. Oh yeah, he bashed it, he bashed it. Oh, it has, wow, that welded stuff glows red. That's kind of cool. Oh no, that's the, oh no. That's the one who passed along the info. With what I've seen on Exegol, the First Order is about to become a true empire. Is the spy, what, what's his name, Hugs? He's like, I gotta hide the way I feel. What is he asking for in return? Does that Prepare to crush any worlds that defy us. My knights and I are going hunting for the scavenger. I mean, uh, uh, this is like a way to really scare the shit out of everybody that works for you really fast, but also like, I feel like lose their loyalty to a certain extent. I don't know. Ruling in fear only works for so long, I think. I'm right. She would be honored to know your family name too. Oh, she doesn't know it. I don't have one. I'm just right. 
Oh, what's happening now? Oh, okay. Bye, little girl. Thanks for the necklace. Ray's having a flashback. <laughs> Some kind of traumatizing experience. Yo, oh, yep. He's force projecting. Palpatine wants you dead. Mm. You could have killed me. Why didn't you? I, I don't think he could have killed you. He struggled with that even in the first movie. <laughs> when I offer you my hand again, he'll take it. We'll see. He was able to grab the necklace? He was able to grab the necklace. We've had this analyzed. It comes from the Midians. Well, they had it analyzed so quickly. Are you kidding me? Oh no. Oh, y'all better y'all better shut your festival down right now. Wookies stand out in the crowd. Wow. Wait, this is what's his name from the um uh, Empire Strikes Back? Oh, she just said his name. God damn it! Calrissian, yes! Ah! He does look the same. Just older, you know? Wow, okay, that's fun. So do me a favor. Give Leia my love. You should give it to her yourself. He's just been chilling out here when he could have gone and stayed with Leia, but maybe it was just like, I want to retire. I don't want to be a part of this alliance again. Is she driving it and shooting? She better not be. Somebody else better be driving that for her. Oh, they have jetpacks. That's fun. They fly now. Yeah, that's not fair. She was driving it and <laughs> and shooting. <laughs> like, damn, pick one, girl. Nope. Oh my god, a stormtrooper with with good aim. What the hell? That's not supposed to exist. No! Ray, Ray! Ray, I never told you, Ray! What? I never told you I love you! <laughs> oh my god. Don't worry, you guys will be fine. Where's Chewie? Oh, Chewie, okay. Oh great, I really thought like you guys might be separated for a little bit longer. I just think it'd be so funny if like the first or final order or whatever could... <laughs> Is that a d joke or something? <laughs> The location of the Wayfinder has been inscribed upon this dagger. Wow, you guys found it so quickly. I am afraid I cannot tell you. Why? It is written in the runic language of the Sith. So what? So? My programming forbids me from translating it. His programming forbids him. Can we not change your programming? I believe the move. There's the thing. Is it a sandworm? What is it? Did she just hand off her lightsaber? Oh my God, she's crazy. She crazy, she crazy, crazy. She gonna heal it? She can just heal them ma and magically? Well, damn, this girl is like insane. Oh, look, it was blocking an exit. How convenient. I just transferred a bit of life. Force energy from me to him. Oh, is it, is it, is it cause of the books? <laughs> Man, we really should have been reading the books. <laughs> The Jedi texts? Chewie going after, oh no. They're all being separated, this is so bad. They're all acting like idiots. Is Rey just walking out here because she senses Kylo Ren? Like that's also stupid. There he is. Rey, why would you do this to your friends? It's Ren. Yeah, it is. Oh, now we're all gonna go out there. That's a great idea. Oh, they go, oh God, of course she, ah. Uh, oh no, now they have, uh, oh no. They have the knife, great. And they've, they've arrested Chewie. <laughs> Is this plan to run her over? Oh, her plan, her plan is to flip over it. Oh, and, and destroy his ship in the process. Wow. They got Joey! They got him! Oh, is she just gonna stop the ship? Oh, what the f She can do everything! This is crazy! Why do I feel like Kylo Ren's gonna get involved? Oh, f Yep, there he is. <laughs> I was gonna say, this is, can't go over well. If he wasn't here, maybe it would work. They're gonna destroy the ship. Chewie's on it, we don't wanna blow it up. <laughs> what? <laughs> she just killed Chewie like that? That's how Chewie goes out? I mean, I guess it makes sense that Chewie would die, but I'm sorry, Chewie deserved better than that, like to die like that. There was another transport in the desert. It brought back a valuable prisoner. Is Chewie alive? Oh, thank God. Take it to interrogation six. How did it survive? How did it survive? Or how did he survive? Sorry, Chewie. How? That was the only clue to the Wayfinder thing and it's gone. So true. The inscription lives only in my memory now. Great. 
I know a black market droid smith. Black market droid smith? But he's on Kajimi. What's wrong with Kajimi? I had a little bad luck on Kajimi. I don't want to go to Kajimi. Can we just, can C-3PO just bypass his own programming? Last time we went to another planet that was seedy and it felt like a waste of time. Like, do we really have to go to Kajimi? <laughs> oh, Chewie. Chewie's alive. <laughs> Honestly, it'd be better if we'd learned that Chewie, if we hadn't learned that Chewie was alive in this moment, I would feel more sad and like, oh my God, Chewie's dead. Instead, I'm just like, he's fine, guys. Don't worry about it. I, there's no stakes. He's fine. Nothing is for Chewie. <laughs> Let's head down. Thought he's not stupid enough to come back here. Oh, you'd be surprised. Who's this girl? I recognize her voice. We're trying to find Babu Frick. Babu? Babu only works for the crew. That's not you anymore. Oh, he used to be on the crew? Your friend's old job was running spice. You were a spice runner? You were a stormtrooper? Were you a spice runner? Were you a scavenger? We could do this all night. That's true, we really could. All of you guys had some weird jobs. Babu Frick, can you help us? Oh my god, Babu Frick is really cute and little. Babu, can you make him translate it? Yes, but it will cause a complete, a complete mem memory wipe. Oh. Do we have a choice? So we're gonna lose 3PO too. What are you doing there, 3PO? <laughs> Taking one last look, sir, at my friends. R2D2 isn't even here. 3PO, these people, I feel like you've barely spent any time with them compared to like Leia and R2. I feel bad for 3PO, but I just didn't feel that moment because it's happening with people that aren't as connected to him, I feel like. Yep, a droid is ready. Oh. <laughs> Oh no. Uh oh. The Emperor's Wayfinder is in the Imperial Vault. Endor. Endor. Chewie. Chewie's alive. Can she? Thank you. Oh, she can sense Chewie. Oh, okay, that's good. Okay, maybe that's why we had to show him earlier because she could sense him. I I do appreciate that. Then I'm fine with it. I am C3PO. Oh, okay. Thank God he's back to his normal speak. All right, guys, get off the planet. Chop chop. Clear for entrance into Hangar Twelve. Hang on, Chewie. We're coming. Wow. Oh, to get Chewie out. Oh. In the f Falcon? No, they're on what's his name? Ship, right. They left the Falcon. Are they going to get the Falcon? Are they going to get the Falcon back? I can't imagine that they're never going to get the Falcon back. Drop your weapons. It's okay that we're here. It's okay that you're here. It's good. It's good. <laughs> Thank goodness you're here. Welcome, guys. <laughs> Okay, I am happy that that happened again because that's the that's the best part about watching somebody use the force. That's the funniest part. Oh no, oh no. Ray, stay focused. Ray, Ray. The dark is on this ship. We need it. You don't really need it. A feeling. Oh, a feeling? A feeling. Oh my God. She's probably right, but God damn it. Oh, they'd be one shot in all these stormtroopers. After all these years, they still didn't give these stormtroopers better armor. What is the point of even wearing the armor, truthfully? Uh-oh. Pose down. Hey, look, it's just a flesh wound. You're good. It's just your arm. You there, hands up. Oh, no, that's bad, though. Ray, we need you. Oh, that's the mask. Vader's mask. Oh, she's in uh, Kylo Ren's little lair. There's got to be an alarm. <laughs> this knife has her mother's energy associated with it? Oh, God. Wherever you are, you are hard to find. Oh, he can't see where she is. Interesting. Right. Ma'am, he's not really here. I mean, I guess you could probably hurt him. He grabbed your necklace. Search your memory. Yeah. She still has the same hairstyle. She never changed her hair. What the hell? They keep breaking the the fourth wall of the force or something. How is this happening? It was Palpatine who had your parents taken. Why? He was looking for you. And he couldn't find her? He couldn't sense where she was? You'd think they'd look for her on Jakku, like they'd search high and low. Oh no. Oh no. So that's where you are. Uh-oh. Ray! Actually... Hux? I'd like to do this myself. Oh, Hux. Hux. What Hugs. He's a little spy, isn't he? I mean, that's not the worst time. I'm the spy. Right. I knew it! No, you didn't. <laughs> I knew it. The leg. Ah, why are you helping us? Ooh. I don't care if you win. I need Kylo Ren to lose. That is crazy, my dude. That is actually a crazy reason. You just hate Kylo Ren that much. Uh-oh. They're all surrounding them. That's so spooky. Why did the Emperor come for me? Mm-hmm. Why? You don't just have power. You have lightning. You have his power. 
Huh? You're his granddaughter. You are a Palpatine. Oh, good timing. Oh no, oh no. The poor Falcon's been through so much. How's she gonna latch on? Oh, he's just force holding himself there. <laughs> that looked kind of funny, I'm not gonna lie. And she looks like she's barely phased. They overpowered the guards and forced me to take them to their ship. I don't think anyone's gonna buy it. I don't think anyone's gonna buy it. Bye, Hugs. Tell him we found our spy. Yeah. Hugs, you should have just gone with him, my dude. I mean, not really. That wouldn't have been fun. Well, bye, Hugs. Oh, this artwork is hella cool. Wow, this is beautiful. Fun. Three points of contact, babe. Okay, test each, uh, test each point. Or not, or not. Don't test it at all. That's fine. Is the door gonna close? <laughs> Why is this door opening and closing for her? What the f I feel like every movie we've had a moment like this. Like the first time when she went into uh, that room and she found Luke's lightsaber and was like hallucinating. And then there it is, the Wayfinder. And the second time when she w went into that mirror and now it's like, it's like the third time something like this is where it's been like trippy and just for her. What the, what the, what the heck? Oh my God, it's her in Sith form. It's her in Sith form. Oh no. Oh, it's him. Oh, that's not fair. That's not fair. Give it back. No, what the hell? The dark side is in our nature. I don't really think it's in your nature, Ben. I think you're fighting to stay dark every day. Is he just gonna break it or something? No! He's dancing away. What the hell? Oh, he sense, she's sensing it now too. Why is it like all of a sudden Leia can source or sense the force? Finn, oh my God, Finn, I'm worried about you, bro. I'm worried about Finn, man. I feel like he's getting himself into this mess. Stay, stay back, stay back. No! Exactly, just stay back, Finn. Oh, there he is. That was a pretty great uh, emergence. Is he finally overpowering her? <laughs> Leia, how come Leia can do this shit all of a sudden? Like she was able to suck herself back into the spaceship when she should have died out in space. And now she can do this. I feel bad for R2. R2's got nobody, man. C-3PO doesn't have a memory anymore. R2's just all alone. I feel bad for R2. Uh, uh, is Kylo Ren just gonna die? Can you can you heal Kylo Ren like how you healed the snake maybe? Since he died because of Leia distracting him? Is she gonna heal him? She's gonna heal him, right? Okay, thank you. Cause that would be really, that'd be really like, I mean, we already established that you can do that and it's really f***ed up that <laughs> you stabbed him and you did. So is he just here now? I'm so confused how this force projecting just works he's just here or was he here the whole time is she just gonna steal his ship oh he was here okay so he wasn't force projecting he was actually here he just found her here how did he find her here oh bye ray you're just gonna ditch your friends i guess she's going to exegor without them oh god wow we gotta see the general oh oh she's gone yeah well they got back here quickly <laughs> chewy oh che <laughs> i do feel bad for chewy <laughs> That actually makes me sad. <laughs> Cause like he's lost everybody. <laughs> I was holding it together for a while cause I felt like Leia's death was so quick and kind of anticlimactic, but then Chewie made me sad. <laughs> I also was about to say, I feel like that must've been really sad for some people in theaters cause Carrie Fisher actually, you know, passed. Oh, what the f man? What the f that's not fair. You can't do that. What the f I miss you, son. Son is dead. No, he's not. You're a loser. <laughs> Dad. I know. Oh my God. Was that like a hearkening back to the line when he, like, it sounded like Ben was going to say, I'm sorry, but his dad just, Harrison Ford just cut him off and said, I know. It felt like that was a hearkening back to when Leia said, I love you. And he just said, I know. Kajimi is in range. Fire. Kajimi. Oh, oh. So is that Poe's friend got done? She's out? She dead now? I'm not ready. Neither were we. 
Lando, you really show up when Leia's dead. Did you just <laughs> bring the little girl he was supposed to take from Jakku to the Emperor? He wanted her alive. Yeah, and she's delivering herself. Express delivery. Oh, ma'am, you're burning the ship that got you here? Or, oh no, she's back on Luke's planet. Oh, okay, she's not delivering herself. Oh, don't throw the, don't throw the lightsaber in there. Yeah. Is that Luke? The f the, I feel like that shouldn't be possible. I feel like you shouldn't be able to grab that. A Jedi's weapon deserves more respect. Well, you threw it away in the, in the last movie. What are you doing? Why could, I feel like he should have just came and spoke to her in this form before she threw it. Cause I feel like he shouldn't be able to grab. I feel like all this grabbing with the force when you're in a different plane makes no sense to me. Like it's just kind of ridiculous. There's something my sister would want you to have. Well, this is a convenient message that he's telling her when she just burned the ship that got her here. <laughs> a different lightsaber? Lightsaber. Huh? Oh, this is, what? Oh, this looks so fake. One day, it would be picked up again by someone who would finish her journey. No, 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 <laughs> no. Well, that answers my question about why she was able to do all this shit, but I still don't. Oh, the Wayfinder was in there. Okay, great. Undestroyed, great. Is that, a, is that, I remember we saw that earlier. Was that always a ship down there? Oh, a Star Destroyer. The one that Luke used to get here? Okay. Well. I'm quite certain I would remember if I had a best friend. I feel so bad. <gasps> Does he have the memory? Oh, good, good, good. Oh, thank God. Okay, I didn't need to cry. I felt really bad for R2, man. He's losing a lot of people. He says he is receiving a transmission from Master Luke. Oh. That's an old craft ID. None of them are asking how he has his memory back. They're just like, oh, C-3PO's back. Great, whatever. <laughs> She's showing us how to get there. Oh, great. She's sending the signal. Great. That's great. I mean, this is exactly what Palpatine wants, so it's not great, but maybe it's fine. That's where Lando and Chewie come in. They'll take the Falcon to the core systems. Send out a call for help for anybody listening. Again, we're doing this again. We're not alone. Good people will fight if we lead them. I'm sure they will, but it didn't happen last time. I feel like we just, this doesn't make sense, but fine. Okay. Might as well. I mean, it's your only chance, I guess, if it's the only thing you can do. It is your birthright to rule here. Ew, he's hovering around with, like, attached to fluids and stuff on a crane. Your hatred, your anger. You want to kill me. That is what I want. That's what he, oh, uh, Uno reverse card. And my spirit will pass into oh, you. Oh, God! Oh, jeez. Oh, no, that's bad. We will be one. That's horrible. Don't do it then. Oh, what, what, what do you do? That's, oh, that's a plot twist. So Kylo Ren's got to kill Palpatine, I think. Also, like, I feel like the contrarian in me, the rebel, would just be like, oh, well, you told me to kill you. You want me to kill you? Oh, that's fine. I'm busy today. <laughs> and your new family dies. Your new family. Wow, fun. I don't think I want to be family with you. Listen, you can choose your family. Thank you, finally. Oh, hey, Kylo. Oh, he's got a blaster, just not a... Oh, he didn't have to look. That was pretty smooth. Oh, is their force projecting to each other right now? They having a moment? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Her lightsaber's gone. Her lightsaber's gone. Okay, honestly, that I do kind of like that. That's kind of cool. <laughs> With the shrug. <laughs> okay, I did kind of like that. I'm not going to lie. Oh, she's got the other one, though. That was kind of cool. Okay, you know, I was getting annoyed the whole time. We're just like sending objects to each other through this force projection stuff. But that moment was fun. Stand together. Die together. I was going to say, like, this guy is clearly more powerful than both of you. What the f***? The life force of your bond. Is killing him? Oh no, it's making him stronger. Oh, his eyes are glowing again. He's doing that thing. What? 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 My friends, I'm sorry. I thought we had a shot. Are the people gonna show up now? Are the, is the help gonna show up now? There are more of us. Lando, are more showing up? There we go. Wow, look at that. Look at this. 
All right, forget all my friends who just died. F them. <laughs> they have no navy. It's not a navy, sir. It's just people. Uh huh. That's how much people hate you. It's like when the Patriots go to the Super Bowl, everybody roots against them. Well, not anymore, but when Tom Brady was there. Because that was one thing we could all agree on. Who's that flyer? Take a guess, Spice Runner. She survived. They survived? How did she survive? I guess she was off the planet already. Okay, what, okay, what, what is gonna happen here? Like, what, what is gonna happen here? So falls the last Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker. Wait, no, but the title is Rise of Skywalker. These are your final steps, Ray. Oh. Rise and take them, Ray. Anakin, Yoda. Ray, the force will be with you always. So she's gonna kill him. I am all the Sith. Well, she, right now, all the Jedi are backing her. I think that's what's happening. Oh, she got a second one. I'm all the Jedi. Wow, we really had to see his face, didn't we? Okay, so we're gonna kill him. Is this time gonna stick? Uh-oh, the planet might be collapsing, y'all. Oh, this guy, yep. Sucks to suck. <laughs> Bye. Oh, you could feel Ray. Did she die? What about Kylo Ren? He's got to pop up, right? Oh, yep, there he is. Oh my God, I should have seen that coming, but damn. Are they gonna swap life forces again? Like, is he gonna give her some life? But he's in rough shape, so I, oh my God. Is he gonna bring her back to life and then is he gonna die or something? Like, I just feel like something crazy is gonna happen or he's just gonna cry, I don't know. Can you guys both live? Is there a way where both of you can live? He's gonna try, yeah. I could just tell that was gonna happen because we've done it two times already. Oh, did he just... Is, is he okay? Whoa. Are they okay? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god! They both get to live? Oh my god! No? Yes? Whoa. Okay, finally. Feel, you know. Okay, thank god. It was just romantic tension. Because I was too nervous <laughs> to get attached to this idea. Because I was like, what if they're f***ing related? Like, oh, is... Oh, is he not... Oh, he's not okay. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no oh no oh no that's really f what the f <laughs> why does he have to what <laughs> what i mean i know that's what jedi do but like uh why didn't leia fade away earlier then she waited for what till ben was back oh my god that was just that was just so much man She's doing really well for somebody who just like had that experience, like finally kissed somebody that she felt this connection with and then he, he gave her his life and he died and now she just looks fine. I'd be like a f wreck. I'm so sad that Kylo Ren had to go, had to die. Although I feel like it kind of makes sense because I feel like, I mean, that's what happened to Vader. And also it just seems like, I can't imagine a world in which he would be like accepted really amongst the rebel alliance. It's probably just easier to have him die. Oh, this is, uh, oh, there's Jawas. Is this, um, is this Luke's, is this Tatooine? I couldn't remember the name of it. My God, my brain. Yeah, this is Luke's home. It's the one place I recognize <laughs> and like can remember. Is this movie gonna end with her looking off into a double sunset? Oh, is she leaving the lightsabers here? She's forced burying them in the sand. Honestly, work smarter, not harder. There's been no one for so long. Who are you? Who are you, ma'am? I'm Ray. Ray who? Is she gonna say Skywalker? Yeah, she gets to choose. Ray Skywalker. Although that name really does like, yep, there's the double sunset. Yep, yep, yep. Although g giving yourself that name really does like put a target on your back. But so does Palpatine, so she really can't win. A lot was going on in this movie for sure. I did have issues with some of the things that were going on, but at least I'm, I'm pleased with the fact that I think they were at least tempting to tie things together. Like Ray being insanely weirdly gifted has to do with her being related to Palpatine and Leia having these weird gifts is because she actually went through part of Jedi training. Although I just, I just think we didn't need any of that personally. And I think it was kind of BS. Like we didn't need Leia to be part Jedi. And I, I really just would have been fine without any of that personally. Part of the reason I have issues with things like that is because it feels like a lot of tell and less show. Like we didn't really get to live through that experience of her 
going through Jedi training. We just hear about it at the end and it's like, oh, there's a little answer for you. And it it's kind of done in this way where I'm like, that doesn't really feel earned. It just kind of feels like we didn't need any of that personally. I think we could have told a great story without any of that. And I did have issues throughout the movie with the whole force projecting and being able to like send objects through it. But it did lead to a fun moment at the end where Ray and Kylo work together to exchange that lightsaber. So I kind of forgive all of that happening because it at least came to fruition in a fun moment that I think was enjoyable or fun for me. I don't really know all of the details when it comes to things like the way that the physics work in Star Wars. So things like hyperspeed or the force, like I'm not super familiar with the logistics of all that. So I kind of forgive it for seeing um, that happen. I kind of was like, all right, I'm on board now. That was fun. One thing I didn't really like, but I don't know if this is really an issue to anybody that saw this movie. I didn't really like Mark Hamill coming in as like a ghost Jedi figure and grabbing the lightsaber that Rey threw. I think it would have made more sense if he popped in right before she threw it to get to stop her from throwing it because that would make sense. I mean, we've seen Yoda pop in when Luke needs him or we've seen Obi-Wan do the same thing when Luke needs him. And I didn't mind seeing Mark Hamill in that spirit form. But the fact that he could just grab the lightsaber to me felt like I feel, I don't know, I felt like he shouldn't have been able to do that. I also just felt like a lot of the acting moments in that scene were really over the top and hammy. But I think a lot of the moments between Kylo Ren and Rey, I think were um, well done for the most part. I know. I know, I see you. I, I know, I'm filming. Someone is throwing a little temper tantrum. So I just brought him up here to finish the outro. I know you guys haven't seen Coda in a little while. Yeah, all in all, I think this movie was fun. I think there were definitely a lot of moments. <laughs> this is why I don't bring him up here because he's kind of big for my lap and he gets squirmy. Um, there were a lot of moments that didn't really make sense to me, but it was fun. And there were moments that, you know, for the whole movie, I'd be like, this doesn't make sense. But then they would come back around to it and I'd be like, oh, okay, it makes sense now. So... The whole Palpatine coming back thing was definitely unexpected. I'm still not sure how I feel about that, to be honest. Like, because now I'm just like, is he actually dead or are you just going to bring him back again later? Like, at a certain point, if I was the Rebel Alliance, I would just quit my job. Like, I, at a certain point, how long are we doing this for? You know? You know what I'm saying? Like, how, the same guy who started the Empire is now back, even though he's been dead for years. He just magically came back now with the cloning ability. What are we doing here? You know, like, what are we doing here? How, what's Who's to say he's not going to come back again somehow? Like, do we really, do we really want to do this? And like, I know hypothetically, it's like, oh, no, 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 we put an end to the Siths. The Siths are gone now. But it's like, you don't know that, really. Uh, so yeah, I would, if I was a Rebel Alliance, I'd just be like, I, I quit. I... <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. But I was saying that uh, from the start of this trilogy with The Force Awakens, I was saying that like, uh, if if I was like, you know, Luke or Han or Leia, I would just be over it. I'd be like, leave me alone. I'm not doing this. So in a way, I did kind of appreciate that that was Luke's response to Rey showing up on his planet being like, get the fuck out of here. I'm, not, I'm done doing this. But yeah, all in all, I mean, there were definitely issues with all three of these movies. And I still had fun going on this experience journey going on this experience okay do i need to put you down what do i need to do for you you wanted attention i'm giving you attention so you can be up here with me or you can be on the ground it's like i have kids anyway he's still begging for attention anyway uh <laughs> i swear to god tyler is not here right now i'm like a single mom <laughs> all in all i did have a lot of fun with this trilogy and there were a lot of fun moments Moments that didn't make sense, but moments that I uh, did enjoy and that were fun and felt like we were building to something. There were certain moments that did feel unearned to me. Like I didn't feel super invested in that trio as a friend group, really, because they spent so much time apart from one another. Whereas in the previous trilogy, it's like they spend so much of the first movie forming this bond and forming this friendship. And even though Luke is away, it's like this whole is missing in that trio's friendship when he's away training with Yoda and it's like there's this romantic relationship building between Leia and Han and when they finally link up with Luke again it's like this 
great reunion only to be torn apart immediately again and lose Han. So it just feels a little bit, I felt more invested in that trio as a friend group whereas with these guys, I was like, I don't know, Ray Ray was gone the whole last movie doing her own thing. We really didn't have this a whole lot of time where they were all together and we were experiencing their chemistry as an audience member and get it growing attached to their dynamic. We just were seeing them all separately. And yet by the end, we're supposed to care about all three of them together. Like I just didn't care about all three of them together. I cared a lot more about uh, Kylo Ren and Ray's relationship because we saw so much of them together. But I, I really could care less about Poe and Finn and, and Ray all being friends together. I, on their own, sure, like I'm invested in them a little bit, but I really wasn't that invested in their relationship as a trio. But I'm definitely interested to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. I know in my commentary, maybe I harped on the movie too much for some people. Maybe I was a little negative, but I really do want to say like I did have fun and I did enjoy a lot of the moments. I think the landscape art was also stunning. Like the sets and the artwork was just beautiful, but I can't help but say everything I'm thinking about, you know, the storyline and the characters as well. So yeah, definitely a mixed bag, but I had fun and I'm happy that I have finally seen this trilogy now. Definitely curious to see what you guys think in the comments down below. One thing that I have noticed with these Star Wars movies, especially the new trilogy ones, is that the comment engagement is like crazy on these videos. People are definitely really passionate about this trilogy, more so than I think like the majority, like the m most of my other videos. Uh, I have videos, you know, I'll look at the amount of comments to likes ratio and the amount of um, views. And the Star Wars new trilogy videos, they're doing fine for views. They're doing they are doing okay. They're not killing it compared to some of my other videos, but they're doing fine. But the comments, like I'm getting way more comments on these videos than on any of my other videos. And I think it's just really a testament to how passionate the fan base for Star Wars is and how passionate people are about these movies. So I think that's really cool. Definitely leads to some interesting conversation in the comments down below. And I'll be curious to see where they go next uh, with Obi-Wan too, with that series. I think after hearing all of the voices of the past Jedi in Rey's head, it'll be fun to check out that series when I'm able to, when I have the time. <laughs> But until then, that's all I have for you guys in this video. So if you liked it, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out. It lets me know that you guys want to see more Star Wars content. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm sure I don't need to say that. I'm sure you already have. But yes, please do. I'd love to know what you guys think about this trilogy. And subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye. You're so much. You're such a ham. You're a little ham. Come here. You really don't want to be in my lap. Are you sure? It's so it's so fun for me. I love having you here. Yeah. He's a good boy. <laughs>